I didn't know what to expect, so um, I didn't think it was going to hurt. Um, I guess I didn't expect it to be as disorienting as it was. I felt actually ecstatic that I was going in because I was treated for, uh, I lost all my balance because of a superior canal dehiscence in my left ear. So uh, going in for any kind of testing, any kind of medical professional that could help fix that, I felt great. Vestibular testing helps you scope out what's going on. Um, a lot of what you're experiencing as a vestibular patient, uh, you can't relate that to other people because you may not know anyone that's had vestibular issues and you may not know what to expect. And so uh, the vestibular testing helps you uh, have a more uh, concrete picture of what the issues may be or are and uh, why you're experiencing what you're experiencing. Oh, the benefits of the testing were to find out exactly what was going on. So, for example, I found out that I had lost 80% of the use of my eyes for balance. And uh, so that made me feel that, okay, this is something real. It's very disorienting. Um, I think that uh, things that probably someone who's not experiencing vestibular issues uh, is aware of is uh, everything that a vestibular patient is experiencing just by being there. All of the testing that you go through, there's lights, there's motion, uh, there's a lot of touch and getting the skin prepped for you know pads and sensors. I remember whatever test that was where they put the goggles on and watch your eyes. Uh, jump around, there was that one. And there was one where I sat on a table and she would turn my head and, and put me over on my side. Nobody tells you enough about what to expect. So you really don't know what's behind the curtain. It would be helpful if they even just outlined what the test was what it's looking for, what it's measuring, why they're doing it, instead of uh, just putting you through it. And then you go out the door and you're like, well, that was weird, I never did that before. Yeah, it's actually hard to remember some of the first visits because I was so fatigued from trying to maintain balance. You know, my brain was so tired that it's hard to remember some of the first visits. This person might look okay, but they're going through a lot of things that they don't understand, that the world is, is quite possibly getting turned upside down, and that they're scared. 